just broke a nail. <laughs> They're not even painting though, it's fine. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Renee, and today I've got a small, very small K Beauty and Lush haul. I just, I mentioned in my last video, which I did like a little get ready with me, that I went home uh, up to Virginia and I saw my sister. And while I was there, she had brought me a goodie bag of stuff literally back from Korea. <laughs> Like a full bag. It came with like the funniest t-shirt. Here, let me grab it. Breaking news is the daily crave spicy garlic veggie straws breaking news. So that was fun. <laughs> I threw my purse and then or I threw my shirt and it knocks my whole purse off the chair. But yeah, so she came back with like a lot of like stuff with funny English phrases, uh, like funny translations and stuff about how that works out. I don't know. I like it. Uh, love the t-shirt. But the stuff that I'm most excited about is all the Korean skincare that she brought back because I don't know I feel like I see a lot about like Korean skincare on like YouTube and like Reddit and everything and people like love it TikTok and I've never really even known like where to begin with Korean skincare so uh this is a fun little little haul straight from Korea so I don't actually know much about these brands just that my sister bought them in Korea <laughs> and I'll link my sister's channel down below so that you can go look first of all how funny she brought me back seven sheet masks I only have six of them in my hand because I already used one and that's why I was like okay I've got to make this video now because I do want to start using this stuff so like I've got to make it before I don't know I, I just use it all and nobody ever gets to see what I got I don't even know where to like start with it <laughs> these three which used to be four because she bought me two of these and this was the one I used are from Claire's with the K C and it's their rich moist soothing tensile sheet mask and their midnight blue calming sheet mask and I've got to say I really liked this one when I put it on I know I was complaining about like maybe my lure box video I was like I don't like sheet masks and Laura gave me the bag she's like I saw your video <laughs> he said you don't like sheet masks and I was like, well, I'm going to try these and I'm maybe going to change my mind because K-Beauty is supposed to be like the gold standard, right? And I can say I actually loved this sheet mask when I wore it. It's for cooling and moisturizing your skin, according to the back. And it came in like the two sections, which I feel like makes it stay on your face better. But I, oh wait, it says, <laughs> this video is a mess, but that's life sometimes. Calming care, cooling effects, and bamboo charcoal sheet. I don't know. It was really nice. I really liked it. So I may pick up more of these. Also on their website, like the Claire's website, it says that they're 100% vegetarian and 100% cruelty free and like trying to go vegan. So I really like that in a brand. So I might pick up more of these. I know I was a hater before, but I'm not a hater anymore. And then the second sheet mask is this rich, moist, soothing tensile sheet mask. It says it's supposed to moisturize and soothe with a tensile gauze sheet. It says it's got aloe vera leaves, hyaluronic acid, and cent centella asiatica. That's embarrassing for me, but it says it'll strengthen the protected barrier of the skin, making it ideal for irritated skin, which mine is dry and irritated. So I am so excited to try these out. I'm sure I'll love it just as much as this one. And maybe these will go like in a favorites video, which would be crazy for a sheet mask to make the favorites video. I say that as I've ever made any favorites videos before. I have not. Um, there's this one. I don't actually know where this is. It's like all in Korean. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll do some research. I'll come right back. Okay, I discovered it's by Beauty of Joseon. And I also learned it's Dear Claire's, not just Claire's. So that's on me. I should have done the research before filming. I could refilm, but I kind of enjoy the chaotic energy that this video is taking on. But yes, this is another Centella Asiatica calming mask. So I can't read too much about it uh, because I do not actively read Korean. But I will update with my thoughts on this mask because I'm also very excited to try this. My sister also got me two masks from Innisfree, which from my understanding isn't cruelty free, but that's fine. We're still gonna use these sheet masks uh, because I'm excited about them. Uh, they're both Jeju Root Energy masks. This one is Carrot and this one is Kohlrabi. And I think that this one has two masks in there because I have three carrot masks and they're all vegan, it says. So 
that's really cool, I think. And I'm really excited to test these out. I've never even eaten a kohlrabi or heard of it before this video. I could be saying it completely wrong. If I am, please feel free to correct me, but I'm really excited to try these out. Uh, they claim this one is going to, this one's gonna provide a shinier, firmer look to the Dolan dehydrated skin. And the carrot one is supposed to be for hydrated, clear, dry look to the dry skin. So they both address my skin concerns. So I'm definitely really excited to see how these perform. Another product my sister got me from Dear Claire's is their Gentle Black Sugar Facial Polish. And according to its claims, it looks like a physical exfoliator with a very fine texture, but it says it won't dry out the skin and it doesn't have an adverse impact like beaded scrubs do. I am really excited to try this out and I will have to let you guys know how it goes. I haven't tried it out yet because I wanted to save it in its little packaging for the haul. Should we open it while we're here? It's a little unboxing. You definitely get this open. Come on, Renee, be strong. Ooh, cute. It comes with a little spatula. I love that. Okay, it's already winning points from me. Should we smell it? Mmm. Ooh. This looks cool. Okay, I'm really excited to try this. And I'm really excited it came with a spatula. I'm gonna use that for a lot of stuff. I have like spatulas I got off Amazon that I really, really love for like moisturizers and cleansers and stuff. But this one, they just gave me for free, which is wonderful. And I think that's it from my like K-Beauty haul. So sheet masks and the polish, but I am really excited to try out all of it because I've heard such good things about Korean skincare. And if I like the stuff, ordering more stuff from the brands definitely is an option. And then from Lush, I really, really enjoy Lush. It seems somewhat controversial online. I really enjoy how transparent it is to find like the vegan products. And I like how everything comes like with minimal packaging. <laughs> so, okay, so the first thing I got is a replacement of my Scenic Shampoo Bar. And this is supposed to smell like the sea and like lemons, and I love it. And I think that their shampoo bars are so easy to use. If you've never used a shampoo bar before, it's really simple. You literally just like rub it into your hair and it'll lather and then you just wash it like normal. And then I keep it in like one of those little lush tins that are designed for that purpose. Um, I don't have one on me, but I'll insert a little picture here and keep it like out of the water. And <laughs> I don't know, it's really convenient. It's convenient for travel because you don't have to like decant it. It's not like over three ounces or whatever. It's like a solid product and it doesn't have any plastic. So once you're done with it, you're done. <laughs> and there's no uh, no waste really. Well, there's some waste, but minimal waste. So I really, really like this. This is my second purchase of the Scenic Bar. I would highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a shampoo. I think it lathers well and it smells really good. <laughs> and it smells and it reminds me like I'm at the beach. So I really enjoy using this. And then I also got a conditioner because I used to use their purple conditioner um, it's like a conditioner bar and they had a purple one, which I thought would be good for like my blonde hair so it doesn't get super brassy. But sometimes I feel like you've just gotta like go outside your box <laughs> and try something new. And this one sounded really good to me. This is their jungle pressed conditioner. And I'm gonna cheat. I, I can't tell you what things smell like, but I'll cheat. Bananas, avocados, figs, kumquats, passion fruit, cocoa butter. Yeah, just like a jungle. And it smells really, really, really good and not too like sweet. I'm not gonna be able to smell anything in a second. I don't know, it's a really neutral yet jungly scent. I do kind of feel like I'm in a jungle, but then maybe just because that's what it's called. But yeah, I'm really excited to use this. I love their conditioner bars. I do think that these have a little bit more of a learning curve than the shampoo bars. I feel like you have to like really massage it into your hair in the shower and like make sure to get every strand. And then I have a comb in the shower I use to like brush through it once I, I think I've gotten all the conditioner bar on there. But then I find them easy to wash out and I do find that they condition my hair really, really well. Not as easy or intuitive to use as like a little liquid conditioner, but there's no packaging. So I think that that's awesome. So I'm gonna keep buying these until I have reason not to. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this one out and I have to let you guys know what I think. Okay, and then this soap I just had to get. I feel like Lush, has so many cool looking soaps that just like entice me into <laughs> purchasing based on looks alone. And then they end up being like nice soaps that smell good too. But I was like, how cute is this? And it's supposed to be like for Christmas, right? So I, I had to, to try it, right? It's their <laughs> baked Alaska soap. And it looks like it has like little candies baked into it, which I thought was so cool. And I really wanna like one day
And I really want to like one day learn how to make my own cool soaps like this. I know it's not like an easy process, but I think that'd be like a fun thing to try. But like it also, I don't know, I just think it's so, so cute. So I had to pick it up and I have used three entire Lush bar soaps in the past few months. So it will definitely get good use out of this. <laughs> and I will have to let you guys know what I think because it does smell, how can I describe this? Sharp. <laughs> citrusy maybe I like it and then of course I had to get two bath bombs because no well actually I got three but I already used one <laughs> but I will look it up to put a picture of it here but no good lush hauls complete without bath bombs and I love bath bombs I use one every time I take a bath which is like pretty often because I find them like super relaxing so these bath bombs will get put to good use um and I feel like I need like a subscription service to lush bath bombs uh, if they do that, let me know because I think that'd be cool. Okay, so I got one of their limited edition for like this holiday one, Snow Fairy. And look, that star is all glittery. And so is that one, but it's a little harder to see. And it smells so good. It smells like candy. And I'm so excited to see what happens to this one in the bath. But I have feeling it's going to be beautiful and pink and swirly and magical for Christmas. And then this one is the Sakura bath bomb. And it's supposed to smell like Japanese cherry blossoms. And it's so, so nice. And I can't wait. I feel like this one is one of those like really clean scents. And I think it'll be really nice like in a relaxing bath where I just want to like a really calm experience and not like a more fun experience like the uh, cotton candy scented one. But I'm really excited to test this one out too. And then the third one I got that I don't have <laughs> with me, but I'll put a picture of here is the peachy one. And oh my God, I loved this one. This one turned the bath my favorite color, which is like kind of like a, a neon peach, um, kind of like peachy <laughs> um but it was so good and it smelled like peach and it smelled really good but it wasn't like overwhelming because i think some of those artificial like fruit scents can be kind of overwhelming this one wasn't and the color it turned the bath was amazing and it lasted a long time in the water um so i would 100 percent recommend this one but i already used it <laughs> so i don't have it here but yeah that's my really small uh k beauty more like k skincare and lush haul um i hope you enjoyed watching this thank you so so much for watching please like if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll catch you on the next one bye